Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. In the earlier videos, we got acquainted with GemPages version 7 editor, explored its improvements over version 6, and mastered using all common elements and settings. Now, let's put that knowledge to the test by designing a killer landing page, starting with the Above the Fold section. So keep watching because in this video, we'll show you exactly how to create a landing page. This is called an Above the Fold section. It's basically the first thing you see when you open a page and where you'd want to showcase the most vital information about your products or services. This section should not only make a good impression, but also to provide directly value proposition. The Above the Fold I showed you was created by Gem Pages product details section and basic layouts, product image, product title, star ratings, key benefits, product price, and product cart button, basically everything you need to catch your customer's attention. To create the product details section, drag the product element from the left sidebar. GemPages version 7 includes built-in support for three standard layouts of the product details section. Layout 1 has two columns with the featured image above the gallery image. Layout 2 has two columns with a highlighted image alongside the gallery image and Layout 3 has one column. I'll use Layout 1 with the left column for the product image and the right one to display the title, price, benefits, options, CTA button. I can click Select Product to choose the latest product or Pick Product to choose a different one from the left sidebar. There are also other settings in Row Element, such as Configure Layout, Column Width, vertical alignment for a better display and enhanced customer experience. Next, I will add images to the section by configuring the product images and gallery element. The element has two parts, including the featured image, which displays a high quality product image with a 100% width, and the gallery image, which demonstrates additional images from different angles, such as materials, ingredients, zoom in, zoom out, etc. This feature allows you to configure the layout and choose between a listing or a slider format. You have the flexibility to toggle these parts on or off for different screen types, but today I will use both. Moving to the mobile screen, I'll set the spacing of product images and gallery element to 32 pixels and choose slider for the gallery image because I will browse five images. Once done with the images and gallery, I will craft the product title. A brief but intriguing product title not only piques readers' interest by providing a summary of the product, but it also serves as an effective keyword for search engines. You can make adjustments to the title and settings and utilize product link to index the title with the link in more detail. Finally, I will choose H1 on the HTML tag for SEO friendliness so that search engines find the H1 first. Another essential element in the above the fold section is the star ratings, which help build trust with your audience. While there are third-party review apps such as Alley Reviews, Luke's Reviews, Judge.me Reviews, etc. you can use, I'll show you how to incorporate star ratings using GemPage's built-in elements. To start, choose a two-column row, add a star ratings, I'll then add a text block, style the content, and set fit to content. The column gap to eight pixels, then configure the first icons. Remove the others and duplicate the first one. Set the icon spacing to four pixels and remove the default spacing for the icon list. And adjust vertical align on advanced settings. It's done on the desktop. Now check on mobile screen. Simply enable Fit to Content and set Column Gap to 7 pixels. Another indispensable part of an Above the Fold section is showing the product's benefits, where our elements come in handy. First, I'll navigate to the Content list and select Icon list, then make adjustments. I will delete two default items and I'll increase the distance between the icon and the text by eight pixels. 
check how it looks on mobiles and configure setting for icons. Now let's dive into the product price section, which displays the price of the product and available discounts to boost sales. GemPage's product price element includes purchase price, price comparison, and discount amount. By default, a product price element is a two-column layout with the purchase price and price comparison. I'll use a three-column layout to add a product tag and start configuring this element. First, I will configure the price by selecting the style, size, and font weight for text. I will then eliminate the spacing for the discount amount and configure the text settings. After that, when I switch to another screen, I'll swap the single column style in mobile with a three column layout. Next, I will move to product option. GemPages offers two options in this element, product swatches and product variants. I will use the former. On variant settings, there are two types that you can choose, separated and combined. Since the product has only one option, there's no need for option name text. So I will configure settings such as option value text, option size, lastly, check other screens. Now move on to the product cart button, which urges customers to reach checkout faster. GemPages supports both product dynamic checkout and product cart button. Product Cart button represents the Add to Cart or Buy It Now button. Otherwise, Product Dynamic Checkout helps to skip the cart and complete their payout with the checkout method displayed on the button. I'll go for Product Cart button and customize its label and styling. Icon is the new update of GemPages Editor version 7. I'll make some changes to it as well. Next is the payment methods. First, drag and drop a five column layout. I will drag and drop an image element. Then I will delete four additional columns and duplicate the first column. I'll enable fit to content in column width and set eight pixels to column gap. Then, and upload the image, which includes the payment options you want. Placing reviews on above the fold can capture maximum attention. You can configure this by dragging a row, adding a text block, and editing the content. You can change the color and inside spacing. To save time, you can duplicate the star rating you created earlier and place it here. Then add the content. Lastly, I will check how it looks on different screen sizes especially make sure layout and content is mobile friendly. Now the above the fold section is all set up. This is the end of the video in the GemPages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.